Welcome to Sex Ed with DB. I'm your host, Danielle Bezalow. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the podcast. If you love and support the work that we do, join my crew on Patreon to win amazing prizes like our adorable merch, exclusive behind the scenes content, private sessions with yours truly, and incredible sex toys. Go to patreon.com slash sexedwithdb to join my crew. Get discounts at all of my favorite brands at sexedwithdb.com. And follow us on Instagram at sexedwithdbpodcast and on TikTok at sexedwithdb. If you want to partner with us, email us at sexedwithdb at gmail.com. Hello, dear listener. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you may or may not know, we just came out with our first episode of season seven on Wednesday of this week. And today it is Friday. And we have a brand new series that we're going to be introducing every Friday, which is very exciting, called More Sex Ed. And essentially, these are going to be like little bite-sized episodes where, you know, we are basically getting these anonymous questions from you all and we are able to write some notes on them, package them, think about them, and I am going to be answering them on Fridays every week in about a 5-minute episode, bite-sized little little thing that you'll be able to listen to, which is so exciting. We're thrilled to be able to offer you all more sex ed content through this platform through this podcast. And I have our first question. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's go for it. Let's see what our first question is. So the first question that we have for this series is, how do I increase my libido? Really, really amazing question. And we have some context here. It says, my body wants it. And then in parentheses, I love to masturbate. Amen. But when it's time to have intercourse, I change my mind. So the first thing I'm going to be doing in this series and these episodes is, you know, talking a little bit about my experience or what I think about this and then sharing my answer to your question. So in my experience, this is eh, totally cool. Like it's totally okay and cool and normal for you to feel, oh, like my libido isn't high enough. It's not where it needs to be. I'm feeling stressed. I'm feeling anxious. Like what I mean by it's totally cool is that is common. You are not alone. And the first step is really to figure out, okay, is this what I want or am I feeling pressure from elsewhere to have a higher libido? Like at the end of the day, you are the person who really should be thinking and reflecting on these things. And if you want a higher libido because you want it and you want to feel that pleasure and you want to connect with your partner, et cetera, that's amazing. But I am going to say like really start to think through what is causing that desire. Is that what you're seeing in the media? Are you getting you know messaging or information from your partner that you have mismatched libidos? So that's like the first thing I'll say. But I do just want to affirm that this is very common. I personally know that I have been there when I'm kind of feeling like, oh, you know, I am not feeling like hot lately. I'm not feeling horny lately. Like I'm wondering if I should have a higher libido than I actually do or what is going on there. So just know that our world is a clusterfuck of a lot of stressful and overwhelming and scary things sometimes. And there are many things that can be impacting our libido, right? So I just kind of want to want to name that right off the bat and kind of answer answer your question, which is how do you increase your libido? What does that actually look like, right? So I have some practical tools that I'll be sharing with you that I think could potentially help. And before I even get into that, you know, something really important and something that we want to share throughout this series that is that we are not doctors and this is not by any means medical advice. So we always recommend checking in with your physician, checking in with your healthcare team, checking in with your therapist, 
we should be supplementing the care and the help and the assistance that you're receiving outside of listening to this podcast because you know yourself best and your care team knows you best. So just a really important disclaimer there. But let's get into the meat of this. How do we really raise our libido if we're feeling like it's lower than we want or lower than usual, right? So let me first bring up masturbation, right? So when we masturbate, we know what we like and we know what makes us feel good. And if we're into it, what really makes us orgasm? And again, this doesn't have to be the crux of your sexual experience. You know, good sex can absolutely happen without orgasm, without that pressure, feeling like you need to orgasm. But also when we're, you know, when we're having intercourse with another person, it can be a little bit more challenging to get in the mood because there's a whole other being there with their own thoughts and experiences and stressors and needs, right? And so it may feel like it's too much effort or it's not going to feel good or you're nervous or you're just simply not in the mood, right? But first and foremost, when it comes to intercourse, that's not the be all end all of sex, right? Like you can still have sex with a partner in ways that don't involve intercourse. So if that's part of the thing that's maybe lowering your libido is you feeling pressure to eventually have intercourse if you're not in the mood for that or not feeling it, you don't have to. That's the beautiful thing about sex is you can do whatever you want, you and your partner, as long as it's consensual and as long as you're into it. However, right, if your goal is to have more intercourse or to get that libido higher for you or for your partner if you're not really feeling those things or experiencing the things that I laid out before, here are a few tips to get yourself in the mood, right? So number one, if you're over 18, try using a sex toy with your partner to show them what you like and what feels good, right? Like again, when you masturbate, you know your body best. If you're a woman, there are studies that have been done. And if you listen to Wednesday's episode with Dr. Lori Mintz, you heard that you know over 90% of women, when they masturbate, do reach orgasm. And that's because they know what they like and they know what feels good for them. So increasing your libido definitely starts with increasing your pleasure and making sure you remember it is pleasurable when you have sex with your partner. And including a sex toy in that can be really powerful and really wonderful. Number two, try body movement and or exercising to increase your blood flow and increase your sex drive. There are studies that have been done that show that exercising can increase libido for folks. Again, getting that blood flow moving. And so maybe for you, that looks like doing some jumping jacks or you know going for a run or doing some yoga or stretching or just going for a walk around the block. Really seeing and feeling that in your body can absolutely increase your libido and get you more in the mood. And number three, I'm really going to suggest using a lube to really decrease that friction and increase that overall pleasure. Um, Using lube can just be a really easy way to make sure that whatever you're using with your partner, whether that be a toy or fingers or a penis, that it feels much better when lube is involved, right? Like lube should be your best friend. Find a lube that really, really works for you because they are fucking awesome. I don't know how else to explain it. If you've never tried lube, here's your sign to try it. And if you have tried it and don't use it as often as maybe you would like, try to incorporate it more so into your sex life. And, you know, disclosure, we are sponsored by Uberlube, but like I talk about them so much because I think that they are a fantastic choice for a lube for people who are sensitive to certain lubes that last longer really feels good. You can use it with condoms, but don't use it with a silicone toy because silicone lube and silicone toys do not mix. But essentially, I hope that that makes you feel a little bit more at ease, listener, if you are someone who wants to be increasing libido. And I really look forward to doing more of these every Friday. If you are interested in potentially having one of your questions read, Look out for that in our link tree if you are interested in submitting questions. But for now, feel free to just really think through like what feels good for you, what feels good in your body. I encourage you to tune in to these episodes every Friday. And thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye. Our creator, host, and executive producer is me, Danielle Bezalel, aka DB. 
Our co-producer and communications lead is Katherine Cohen. Our co-producer is Brian Peoples. Our social media intern is Sarah Kelly. Our music theme is by Hook Sounds. Thank you so much to our featured guests, partners, and our listeners. Want to advertise with us? Email us at sexedwithdb at gmail.com. For more sex ed content, follow us on IG at sexedwithdbpodcast and on TikTok at sexedwithdb. See you next time.